Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marital Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 41 to 50. Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, amen, I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go into Gehenna, into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Gehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Gehenna, where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Everyone will be salted with fire. Salt is good, but if salt becomes insipid, with what will you restore its flavor? Keep salt in yourselves and you will have peace with one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Today's gospel passage is packed with a lot of images, some harsh and graphic, others seemingly confusing and cryptic, that instructs one in living a fulfilling Christian life. Obviously, the part where one is asked to dismember body parts that causes one to sin is not to be taken literally. Rather, to figuratively cut off or distance oneself from a particular behavior or situation that might present some pain of withdrawal at first, but will be nothing in comparison to the pain that one will experience when fully controlled and trapped if nothing changes. The reference to salt might not seem so glaringly obvious, unless one understands the historical relevance and meaning behind what something today is very common and ubiquitous. Back during the time of Jesus, salt was a rare commodity, at times being used as a form of payment, hence the root meaning in the word salary. Salt was also used to purify as well as preserve food stocks such as meat, fish, etc. So Jesus referring to us as salt is to mean that we, through our Christian values, have the means to purify and preserve life and have innate value as children of God. Thus, if we keep truths deep within, peace will arise because there will be no need for jealousy, fear, and hatred because everything that we need to live a spiritually fulfilling life will already be available within. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and wonderful day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.